Hello there, and welcome to our video on setting up calculations. Self-calculating form fields are handy for order forms, graded quizzes, or anywhere that you might need to compute a value based on what users select on your form. Let's walk through an example of how you can use and set up a calculation on your form. For our example, we have an order form that customers will fill out to select the product they want. In this case, we have some different coffee blends on a form that can be selected and then submitted for purchase. Now we've already set up a form with a list field option that has a label for the coffee blend and then a value for the cost of each. As a reminder on how you can accomplish this, you would want to add your list field and then select your field and click on the advanced options editor under the field specific option here on the left. Once selected, you'll be taken to a screen where you can select the Use Separate Values option on the right-hand side. Once that's been selected, you'll have the option to add a value for each corresponding item, in this case, our different coffee blends. It's important to note that when you're using separate values, that you have the option to save the value, the label, or both in your final submission data, and these options can be reviewed right here on the right. It's also important to note that when you're entering the values for each item, each value will need to be unique. For instance, if you have two separate items that are each $2, each item would need to be unique. So you could get around this by having one item that's just two for the value and another that's 2.0. Although these are the same value, the form builder will see them as unique. After you finish setting up your fields that will determine the total calculated amount on your form, the next step is to add a short answer or number field. In this case, we will be creating a short answer field. We can go ahead and name our field total amount on the left hand side. And then we also want to make this a read only field since we will be using this field to display the calculation. We then want to scroll down to the field specific section. From here, you'll see an option for enabling and setting up a calculation. After selecting the calculation option, we will need to determine if we want to use a numeric calculation or a date calculation. For this case, we're going to use the numeric calculation option, but the date calculation is a great option if you need to determine and calculate the time between two dates on a form for something like a start and end date. The next step is going to be putting together our calculation. For our calculator, we have the option to manually enter in values or use our fields. For this example, we want to calculate the total amount on the form. So we want to add the blend that our customers would be interested in for that one field, as well as the shipping cost and the taxes. For this example, we had created a separate tax field that also uses the calculation feature to determine the tax amount based on previous selection. Now that we've set up our calculation, let's go ahead and see how this works on our form. I'm going to go ahead and launch our form here. And now I'll start filling it out. As you can see, when I select the coffee blend I'm interested in and the shipping method that I prefer, the total amount is calculated at the bottom of the page. That's it for setting up calculations on your form. Thank you for watching.